Hello guys, welcome on, welcome back to my channel. It's now Bluebell right here and we're going to continue our journey on the quarry. So here is Dylan. He's one of the group of friends. Um, okay, we have here some things. A fool's errand. Jacob removed the rotor arm from the minivan. Abby chose to help Emma break into the cabin. Oops. Abby was able to explore inside the cabin. Abby put the forgotten toy in her bag. Okay. So, uh, Chris, I I'm actually glad we got a moment to talk. Uh, uh-oh. I'm not fired, am I? <laughs> no, no, that's, um, it's just, you know, about the whole thing w with the... Hold that thought, partner. I'm gonna have to take this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, sorry. Hello? If it's drop. What? Because kids are kids. It only be so much your vote. But they're almost out of here, all right? You're cutting it pretty close. We don't want to have. Just hold your damn horses, all right? Everything's a okay on this end. Bobby and I are geared up. If he's in the area, we'll get him. This is a waste of time. You know it, I know it. No, should I have? He's gone quick. Try staying out of the way. Speaking of which, the longer you keep me on this damn phone, the longer it's gonna take me to get rid of these damn kids. Yeah, of course. Adios. Who was talking to this guy on the phone? Uh oh. Sorry, I, I wasn't. I wasn't listening. Chris I, is I was disappointed just, like, in you. Waiting. Like, I mean, I heard. I. Uh, I mean, I was. I didn't hear what you were. Saying. We're cool, champ. Just. Come on, it's sorry I pushed you out like that. So this guy, Chris, was talking about the kids. E uh, you need a hand looking for the keys? That kid's uh, no. teenagers. And the summer, busy, busy. <laughs> so, anyway, you were asking me? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. It was just the whole animation school thing, what you thought I should do. Right. Y you know, listen, whether or not I should, like leave my sister with my grandparents since I'd have to live on campus, you know, and my mom's not exactly around, so I wouldn't want to leave Sarah on her own. You know, fam our family's small enough as it is. Well, family is important, Ryan. Dang it. Concerned. Is everything okay? You got a hot day tonight? Oh boy. If you only knew. <laughs> so, uh, what, what did you need me for? You're one of my favorite counselors, Ryan. You know that. One of the good ones. But, do you know how many calls I get from parents, letter after letter, of these terrified kids that they send home? Huh. I, I didn't realize that. Believe it or not, scaring kids away from sleepaway camp is kind of bad for business. So maybe just ease up on the ghost stories? Apologetic. Sorry, I didn't realize it was such a big deal. Gotta understand the repercussions of your actions, Buster. It's a big part of being a counselor, a leader. Yeah. Just stick to kumbaya next time, okay? What's that? You guys don't do kumbaya anymore? 
Good grief. I'm outgrowing my own cliches. Seriously, Chris, what's going on? I just want to get you guys safely out of Dodge before the sun goes down. Why? Why? It's getting dark, Ryan, and it's not safe to drive in the dark. And safety is the first step towards fun. Just give me a minute. Where in the good goddamn are they? Will you say goodbye to Caleb and Kaylee for me? They sort of just snuck off. Well, you'll see him again next year. Caleb works at the scrapyard during the off season, and Kaylee, well, she's still figuring out what she wants to do. She's got her whole life ahead of her. They both just come and go as they please, really. Teenagers, am I right? Actually, could have used the help packing up since we were short staffed. Hey, you guys seem to manage all right. But I'll tell them both you were sad you missed them. Unlocked the van, put the keys in my pocket, came in the office. Right where I left them. Uh -huh. Let's skedaddle. Make sure they're all ready to go. For real this time. Wait, how did you get your phone back before the rest of us? I never turned it in. You sure did turn it off before you handed it in, Dylan. Them's the rules, you noob. I try not to dwell on the past, man. Good. Because it's time to dwell on the minivan. Get on with our respective lives. Move it. Let's go. What's the problem? Ugh, oh, dude, I don't know. I, I think there's something wrong with the engine, Mr. H. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, dude, it's just like kaput. All right, let me try. What, dude, I'm telling you, all right? It's busted. Well, maybe you're doing well, it wrong. Well, maybe you're doing it wrong. What the fuck, dude? Enough. Enough, both of you. Shit. Come on. All right, come dude, on. Chill. Chill, Let's go. dude. I'm God. I thought I told you kids to check everything. No, we did. It, it should be working. Yeah, well, coulda and shoulda doesn't mean it is, does it? Damn it! Okay. Okay. Uh, well, uh, look, it's not that big of a deal, okay? We'll just spend one more night here. No! No! Just stop. Let me think. Okay. Damn it. You're right. You're right. Yeah. What? Yeah, you're right. Hey, Ron. Come here for a sec. What's happened to Chris Hackett? Make sure that everybody is inside the lodge for tonight. Lock the doors. No one in, no one out. No one. Got it? Okay. I'll be back first thing in the morning. And we'll get you all on the road. You just have to keep everyone inside. Can you promise me you'll do that? Yeah, sure. We'll, we'll stay inside. And a boy.
Lock the doors. And for God's sake, keep the noise down! So... What was that about? He, uh... said to stay inside. That we're not leaving until the morning. Are... you kidding me? Am... Are you kidding me? What are we supposed to do? Well, we should go inside, like he said. We could go inside. Until morning. Yeah. Or... Or we could do something else. What are you talking about? No Mr. Hackett, no screaming kids. Just a bunch of grown-ass adults ready to cut loose and get down with their animal side. Oh, hell yeah! P-A-R-T. Why the fuck not? All right, it seems like the stars have aligned for us, no? Okay, okay, okay. One last epic bonfire blowout for all time. Oh, dude. Fuck yes, I'm in, Nick. You're in. Yeah, I'm in. Dylan's in, obviously. My man. Caitlin? I go where my people need me. Yeah, okay. M, what do you say? Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. Mr. Hackett seemed pretty insistent we stay in the lodge. He was just trying to freak us out, you know? Like, um... Like one of Ryan's stupid ghost stories. Why would he want to scare us? <laughs> Apprehensive. I don't think he was trying to freak us out, Jacob. I think he was really freaked out by something. Jesus Christ. Chris seemed real serious about this, guys. Just say you're in, man. Come on, one last night. Yeah, Dude, he won't even know. I, I promised. I no, 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 D dude, dude. It's all good. All right, we get it. You know, you, uh, you don't want to disappoint daddy. Dismissive. Whatever, man. It's going to be fine, man. Trust me. It's going to be chill. All right, all right, all right. Hacketeers. Party planning committee, let's do this. Um, okay, first things first. Nick and Abby, you go get some firewood. Uh, Emma and I will go to the stores for some supplies. And uh, Dylan, you just, I don't know, figure out how to charge the phones or something. All right, let's do this. Wow, who's this guy? putting blood <laughs> hunting season oh man I was hoping you'd come back to me. Let's see what you've found. Temperance. <laughs> to be balanced. To consume in moderation. Or to indulge in excess. Temperance. Take it or leave it. 
But remember, sometimes with temperance comes deferred gratification. There's more I can show you, if you like. I was hoping you'd say that. You'd better be going. It's still early and the moon is bright, but time won't wait. Not for those with a story to tell. Be careful. Look out for yourselves. And look out for my cards. Okay, so chapter two, general store. So here we are, stranded in the great American wild with nothing but our wits to guide us. Will humanity prevail or will we grow ravenous and resort to eating the flesh of the deceased like I saw in that one plane crash movie? <laughs> First course. Filet au Jacob. Rich and full-bodied, this rare beefcake may leave an irritating taste lingering on the palate. An acquired taste, some would say. Wow. Well. What? Looks like you're trying to thread a needle with a packet of loose sausages. Oh my god, I'm almost done, okay? Jesus Christ. And for the record, your analogies are very hurtful. Okay, I'm almost there. One second. <laughs> ah, there we go! And Viola. Uh, your hair clip, madam. Yeah, you can keep it. It's not too shabby, huh? Yeah. Playful. I like a man who's good with his hands. Yeah, well, they call me Mr. Magic Fingers. <laughs> no, they don't. Okay. So, if I were a beer, where would I be hiding? Beep, 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 beep. What beep, are you doing? Beep. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's my beer dar. Helps me dar for beers. Huh. How am I just noticing how super lame you are? What? But it, it's my beard art, dude. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go over here. Wow, the kids really wiped this place out. Mr. H loved his accessories. I think it's locked. Of course it is. Don't know what I was expecting. <laughs> oh. Oh, hell yeah! <laughs> oh! Jackpot! Hey, uh... Check out my giant melons. Oh. See? You just cut a hole in it? Mm hmm You pour in your vodka. It's party time. You just, you pour the vodka right in it. Yeah. It's the most fun you could have with a hole in watermelon. Or, well, second most. Okay, I'm gonna leave you two alone and go look for some more party supplies.
harem scarum Wherever these posters are doing in Chris Hackett's possess possession, he must have forgotten to take this one down. Damage Hemorabilia. These flyers are promoting a traveling show called Harum Scarum. The date listed indicates that it took place over six years ago. this crap who was that guy? friends oh yeah scared Jacob can't pass up an opportunity like this okay have y'all ever seen a grown man crap his pants because you're about to oh my now, where should I hide? Jacob! Emma? Hello? Like, if you're trying to scare me, it's not gonna work. No, they're... they're funny. You think this is supposed to be funny? I mean... yeah. <sighs> well... Do you think it's funny now, little boy? I... oh, because... You want to join 20 of my sexy clown friends in a tiny car that somehow fits us all like it's no big deal? I... I... What? Moment's gone. <sighs> Not forgotten. This goes locked. <laughs> Jacob, come check this out. Oh, uh, <laughs> all righty then. 
door. Buckle up because you are about to meet your maker. Done. Nice. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. The fucking mother load. Good golly, Miss Molly. No wonder he kept this place locked up. You think he'll be pissed when we made a stash? What? No. I mean, he left us stranded here. It's like, um... <clears throat> human rights, or... Whatever. Sure. Yeah. Alright. Now let's see what we are working with. Hold that. The door will latch otherwise. Oh, hell yeah. <clears throat> In and out. Job done. Boom. I want to look around. Go for it. Jacob, check this out. What? I can't move or else the door will latch. They look like camping supplies. Oh, okay. Um, there's tents back at the fire pit, so just let's let's go. Torn bags. Did a bear? Torn hiking bags, dashed with flecks of dried blood. This. <laughs> Oh, gun. Cool. What? What is it? A gun. Oh, cool. And a uh, code. Okay. I'm done. So you're, uh, you're really gonna keep the gun, huh? Yeah, for bears. Okay, uh, well I am gonna find something to haul this lot back to camp. I'm in. Hey, very nice. <laughs> what else is in there? Uh, just some fireworks. W oh, fireworks? Yeah, but I don't think we should. No, 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 Emma. Fireworks. We're gonna take it. You know, you're right. Fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 hell yeah. Fireworks. Oh, um, and might I just add, um, fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob seems excited. Hey, I found these, like, torn up bags back there. They were pretty messed up, and I think they might have had blood on them. Oh, oh, stop. Stop. Stay right there. <sighs> oh, dude. Peanut butter butter pops. Dude, peanut butter fucking butter pops. Judgmental. Aren't those for kids? What? Yeah, yeah, and I used to be a kid. <laughs> used to be? Okay, um, look, just try one of these puppies. I promise you, you will change your tone. Not a chance. Pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. Pop, pop, pop them in your mouth. <laughs> no. oh, come on, they're like the greatest snack of all time. 
All right, whatever. You know what? More for me. Well, <clears throat> I saw a wheelbarrow out front, so we can load up all our booty in there. Uh, I'm sorry, what? Booty? Oh, it means like, um, like treasure or buds. <laughs> no, before that. Wheelbarrow? Uh, yeah. Um, okay. Uh, it's like, um, it's like a barrel with wheels. You can put stuff in it and just wheel it around. Oh, I see. <sighs> Ladies first. Um, yeah. Which way? sanctum it's just an office this is where the magic happens <laughs> okay yeah let's just make this quick sure just give me a sec to get this going and engage podcasts yeah all right friendly uh, what's it called, the one that you're listening to right now? Uh, Bizarre Yet Bonafide? So, like, ghosts and stuff? It's like, um, yeah, like, the the weird and the wonderful, digging up weird mysteries and discussing if they're, well, bonafide. <laughs> boner fide. Get it? Boner. <laughs> Your wit knows no bounds. So, should we check out what Mr. H keeps in his private den of sin? Uh, I don't know, man. I feel a little weird going through his stuff. Okay, well, I don't. I mean, come on, what kind of dirty secrets is the owner of a summer camp full of impressionable young children going to have anyway? <laughs> Not Mr. H, I know. He's cool. It's always been cool to me. Hello, what is this? You hear that? Is that a trap door? <laughs> Suspicious. Yeah, I guess it goes to the basement. Huh. But why would Mr. H have a secret trap door in his office that goes to the basement? Maybe it was here before this was his office. He's like a million years old. This has always been his office. It's probably for storage. Yeah, or so that he can make a quick getaway when the heat comes down. Uh, okay. Or it's for storage. Go ahead, open it up. All right, well, it looks like a pit of eternal darkness, so... You're being dramatic. Climb down. Take a look. Look, you can squeeze through there. You opened it, you climb down. Uh, let's climb down. <sighs> What's down there? Oh my god, Ryan, you will what? not believe this. What, what, what? It's nothing. Oh, <laughs> I had you go in there for a second, didn't I? No. Maybe. Just <laughs> shut up. It is uh, pretty spooky down here, though, and it smells very unnatural, so... Yeah, okay, I'm coming back up. Whoa. Ooh, that's a nice chair. I could get used to this. You better hope Mr. H doesn't catch you taking his baby out for a joyride.
playful. Ring a ding a ding. Oh, sorry, bud. Gotta take this one second. Hello, Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. What can I do for you on this darn tootin' doozy of a day? Is that your impression of Mr. H? Uh, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah, I. You're absolutely right. He does need to be nicer to Dylan. And uh, what's that? You want him to give Dylan his phone number? That's a little forward, but I can see what I can do. Smooth. <laughs> Oh, Laura Kearney and Max Brindley. Oh yeah, those are the ones that never showed up. Yeah, it's because of these goobers that we had to work extra shifts this summer. Consulars Led... Led... Ledger. A list of the consulars' names, uh, personal details and their tasks at camp. Two names are crossed out, Laura Kearney and Max Brinley. Why didn't they show up? Hey, what's the gun for? Uh, Chris, Mr. H told me it was for, um, bears. Bears? Here? Yeah, yeah, he said they don't really come around because he's got the gun to... Yeah. <laughs> Just leave it alone. Just leave it alone. Playful. Dude, we're gonna be out partying in the woods tonight, alright? What if the bears try to crash? Okay, it's it's like my mom always said, if you want to party, you got to bring protection. <laughs> well, I think that she was talking about condoms. I'm not going to fuck a bear. The most dangerous thing I've seen in these woods is a pissed off squirrel. That sounds pretty scary. Okay, fine. Well, we know where the gun is if we need it. <sighs> Your call, man. Caitlin, Activities Coordinator, Emma, Theater Coach, Laura, First AD Support, Dylan, Announcements and Scheduling, Abigail, Art Tudor, Nicholas, Cook, Max, Activities Assistant, Ryan, Sailing Co Coach, Jacob, Support Sports Coach, Share no show responsibilities among remaining counselors. Yo, my guy, toss me the keys. Uh, so you can poke around in Chris's private area? I, I'm sorry, is that something that only you're allowed to do? Hardy har har. Come on, what's the harm in looking? It's... You're not a little bit curious? I'm not gonna touch anything. Fine. Don't let me regret it. Can't promise that, but... Nothing but that. <laughs> you're using that wrong. Huh. 
Whoa, there's some pretty heavy-duty stuff in here. Yeah, maybe let's not touch that. Yeah, there's nothing fun. Fashion icon. Mr. H knows what he likes. Sure he does. Wow, there's... Yo. Hey, hey, maybe we shouldn't... Whoa. He has a secret room. Uh, Ryan? Whoa, what the fuck? These monitors, this is the camp. Huh. Is Mr. H spying on us? No, no. I mean, no, no, he can't be. These are just... They're all different trails in the woods around camp. <laughs> sure. Most of the cameras are pointed away from camp, so it's not like he's spying on the kids, unless they wandered out into the woods. You know, these are just, probably just trail cameras. What are trail cameras? People set them up to catch weird, random shit. Okay, yeah, like what? Like uh, Bigfoot sightings, you know, that kind of thing. Interested. I didn't know that Mr. H was into that kind of stuff. Shit, maybe he likes that podcast that you listen to. Secret hobby, I guess. Expensive hobby. Yeah, well, I mean, what else are you gonna do out here? Yeah, I guess camp probably does get pretty lonely when there's no one else around. Yeah. Okay, but why go through all the trouble of hiding this room through a secret door in the closet? Uh, I mean... It's not exactly secret, right? Like, it's just hidden by stuff. Yeah, that's what a secret is, Ryan. It, it's weird. It's major league yeah, weird. I man. don't disagree with you, but... It, it's It's gotta be something juicy in here. Dylan, okay. it's, it's none of our business. And if you really want to know, you can ask him tomorrow. I'm sure that won't be an awkward conversation, like, at all. Okay, yeah, maybe I will. All right. I, I'm leaving this secret layer. Have fun. Hey, you just admitted that it's a secret lair. What was that? A person. It's probably nothing. Yo, leave the gun alone, man. You got it, boss. So, got anything going on when you get back home? School, or? Uh, jury's out. Understood. Girlfriend? Uh... Not exactly. Boyfriend? Free agent. Cool, yeah. Me too. Are the uh, phones? Oh, uh, yeah, probably. You want to check? Oh, let's just give him another minute or two, just to be sure.
So if you do go to school in the fall, have you like picked out a major or? I don't know, man. It's kind of hard to talk about right now. Oh, have you not decided what you're gonna do with your life? Hey, are the phones done yet? Nice. Full up. Hey, Dunzo. All right, cool. Let's go. Thank you. Okay guys, so this was the video. Hope you guys really enjoy it. Please put a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're not a subscriber yet. Um, click on all the notifications to not miss any of these videos. And we'll see you in the next video, so bye!